This episode is brought to you by Final Fantasy, the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra experience. Cinematic universes are all the rage. If you know of one, that's Congratulations. Great. <laughs> you're the top you're the, dog. You're a big winner. <laughs> Look at you. But the thing is, Mason, not all cinematic universes are as good as gold. Most of them are much, are much worse than gold. And the reason we're bringing this up this week because Venom is putting the cart before the cinematic universe. <laughs> yes, it in terms really of is, isn't it? The things that it's doing. Look, yeah. it might be a fantastic film and it might work out really well. But it might be a fantastic four. That's and right. And be really bad. That's right. Uh, because they're already planning a bunch of spin offs. Their Silver and Black <laughs> movie is now two separate movies. They're doing a Morbius movie. They're hoping to fold it into the MCU, apparently. It's really really going very well. It's going gangbusters. Already. On paper. Yes. <laughs> not in real life. <laughs> but you never Why know. Why would it? Yeah, you Be- never know. Because one of these worked that one time, remember? The Marvel Universe. And the Godzilla Universe, I guess. And I'm sure there's others. Mm-hmm. So we're here to talk about cinematic universes that tried to be cinematic universes. Cinematic universes that tried to be cinematic <laughs> universes. But they didn't work too well. They didn't work too well. <laughs> but we're not talking about ones that are cancelled. No. Oh, not cancelled, sorry, that just stopped on their own. Like uh, The Dark Knight. That uh, had its, it had its story arc and it finished. Also another one, the Anaconda Lake Placid Universe. I found out that's a shared universe. Did you know that? Wow. I didn't know that. Because it's big. Big sea big, creatures? Big sea creatures okay. coming at each other. Wait, according to whom, though? According to IMDb, Mason. Right. Who cares, though, right? Yeah, I Remember agree. Remember when John Voight got vomited up by a snake? Yes. Great stuff. Anyway, <laughs> look, if we're talking about Sony's cinematic universes, they've tried to do this Spider-Man universe before with the Amazing Spider-Man shared universe. And amazing it was. <laughs> Wait, in, was that a shared name universe? Only. Oh, because they were going to do a Sinister spin- yes. Six spin-off. That's right, and a bunch of other stuff they planned to go in all sorts of directions. Do you remember the idea was that they built the villain origin basement where you'd walk in and you'd pick up a backpack with your villain origin and in it. And you'd put the backpack yeah. on and then all of a sudden you were Dr. Octopus. That's right. Or the, the, the vulture, scorpion, the vulture, the scorpion. whatever, the rhino. Yeah, it doesn't matter. No. Just p- grab a backpack and off you <laughs> You're go. You're a villain, right. there yeah. we go, yeah. <laughs> so that fell down in a big way. Because nothing... Makes you, nothing makes you identify with a villain, you know, mm. more than the origin of them putting on a backpack. Because haven't we all put on a backpack, you know? <laughs> Every you one really of us. You really sympathise. You go, well, he's a bad guy. Yeah. But I also remember picking up a backpack that was slightly too heavy. That's right. And I was bloody exhausted. <laughs> and why wouldn't I want to destroy the world after yeah. that, you know? I see a lot of similarities between this and what's happening with Venom at the yes. moment. Mm-hmm. But again, it's all contingent on if Venom's great, then this is all good. Yeah. All the planning is... It's all gravy, it's, baby. It's all gravy. And you're like, if baby. The, baby, sorry. Thank you. If the Amazing Spider-Man films had have been rock solid, mm-hmm. which they're not, no. you know, they could have done all these things. They could have held on to Spider-Man and maybe even folded in their amazing version of Spider-Man into the MCU instead of lending their rights back and sharing it and blah, 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 and building a separate Venom universe. But the Amazing Spider-Man 2 is garbage. So bad. I like it. You would. I don't. You wouldn't? Correct. <laughs> What's another cinematic universe that you love? Oh, speaking of universes, yes. let's get a little darker. Oh, God. The dark universe. Yeah, yeah. Pretty good, right? Pretty My favourite part about that is the is the origin room where they just have the vampire and the hand of the... <laughs> I think maybe what we've discovered here, yeah. maybe this will be a through line, is if you're going to build a universe, don't start out with an origin room. <laughs> you know? Don't just be yeah. like, hey, look, all the secrets are in this room. Maybe expand it out a little. What's strange about the secret room in this is, it's just got a bunch of shit in it that who cares? It's like there's a vampire skull. That would be fascinating to me if I'd never seen a vampire movie. Correct, At least yes. with The Amazing Spider-Man, if I see the vulture's wings, yeah. I've never seen that villain That's in live true, action. Yeah. Uh-huh. So maybe I'd be interested. I'm not because it's just a backpack you can get. Yeah, uh-huh. But it's and got- they fix that by putting Michael Keaton in that role and giving him some depth. That's true, they did. Mm-hmm. Exactly. But then they've got the hand of the creature of the Black Lagoon and a bunch of other crap. They also had that photo of all the cast that they'd assembled. I was just about, they'd lined I was just up just a about to mention cast. that. Yeah. Who have they got, Mason? Javier Bardem, is he in it? Biggest face in Hollywood, he's so in it. So big. Yeah. Jonathan Depp. Don't pin a universe on him, it's a That's bad idea. Right. He was Invisible Man, I believe. Mm. Russell Crowe, the greatest actor in the world. Correct. Other people. Other people. The lady who was the mummy. That's right. Tom she was Cruise. Good. Yeah. Tom Cruise. Well, they couldn't even get all those people in the same room together. Uh-huh. That That's a composited photo. <laughs> Terrific. They also cancelled... The next one was supposed to be Bride of Frankenstein, straight, straight after uh-huh. that, with Angelina Jolie. It's currently 
on hiatus. Don't think it's gone forever. The Dark mm. Universe could come back because it already has come back because before this, we had Dracula Untold, mm, which they may as well just said it was in the same universe because who cares? Maybe he was the, maybe Dracula was the skull on the table. It could very well be. <laughs> That's because that movie ends with him still being alive in the modern day. Yes. I like to think that what happens is he steps out into the sunlight. He's immediately incinerated except for his skull. Mm. Russell Crowe picks the skull up, puts it in a room. <laughs> continuity established what do you reckon about that that sounds fantastic pretty incredible right what's amazing about the mummy to me is that it's supposed to be an improvement on Dracula Untold but it's way worse <laughs> it's yeah I mean Dracula Untold is no masterpiece uh-huh. but it's not horrendous like the mummy right uh huh yeah but I also think the mummy has some okay action sequences in it it has one which point? Which one? That's, no, you know what it doesn't. It has the bit where it has the bit where the, the <laughs> it, has a, it has a bit where the mummy diverts itself to London or whatever. That's kind of cool. Okay, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Fair enough. Mason, do you love Final Fantasy? The music of Final Fantasy. You know, I think when I was a kid, I had Final Fantasy VII, and I also had the soundtrack to Final Fantasy VII on compact disc. Oh my goodness! Well, yes. if you love Final Fantasy VII, you might also like the music of Final Fantasy VI and Final Fantasy X. And I say that because it's going to be playing live the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra Friday 28th and 29th of September at 7.30pm at the Art Centre Melbourne Hamer Hall. Not on a compact disc. That's wow. right. I love it. Do you happen to know who composes these symphonies, Mason? Uh, yes, it's composers Nobuo Uematsu and Masashi Hamauzu. Two of the greats. You can actually book tickets if you go to mso.com.au. It might be a good little planet broadcasting experience if you people wanted to get a group together. Yeah, get together. That's exciting. And you better get in quick, Mason, because this follows their sellout concerts from across the globe. Mm-hmm. We also have 10% off if you uh, use the promo code PLANET, and that discount is subject to availability, so get in quick. Quick sticks. Composer sticks. <laughs> What's that thing? A baton. Baton. These are more just the ones I'm about to talk about. These are more kind of just a series of sequels in a universe, I guess. But off the back of Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings, we got Golden Compass, Aragon, Aragon. Remember that one? It's yeah. about dragons. Oh, uh-huh, sure. I haven't seen any of these. The Seeker, City of Ember. Mm-hmm. They did a couple of Percy Jacksons. They got those going. They for sure a did. Yep. Bit. Uh-huh. But there was a big push to kind of get these YA kind of universe. They're more, really again, they're was, more sequels yeah. off the ground. Uh-huh. Uh, now they've got London's on wheels. Look out, yep, Hugo sure. Weaving's in charge. Yep. That one's coming up. <laughs> but yeah, that always, every time they started, brought out another one of these, it always felt like, oh no, this isn't anything. And you've... you've What's missing, I wonder? Is it, is it... I think the appeal of the books in the first place is probably a big part of it. But then, yeah, I mean, because... they're popular books, but they're not Harry Potter and they're not Lord of the Rings. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, what does Harry Potter have these books don't have a bigger fan base yeah but i mean and what? casting <laughs> yeah but casting. i mean like what what is miss what what is preventing them from becoming more popular what is the what's the big draw well how do you out harry potter harry potter good point you don't mm-hmm. you kind of have to wait till that goes away and then oh i see the next yeah right, right, right you're saying that the, the the fan base can only be so there's only so many fans yes. and they're all currently reading Harry Potter. And I'm fairly confident they just made the Aragon movie because it sounds like Aragon from Lord of the Rings. Absolutely. I've always thought that myself, yeah. <laughs> I don't know whether that's true. Uh-huh. What do you know about the Dark Tower universe? Uh, I know it's Stephen King's... Uh, it is, it's Stephen King's opus. It's like his multiverse that it ties together a lot of his works. Yes. All his major uh, novels... And a lot of his short stories have some connection to this multiverse mm. at the center of which is a dark tower. Yes. And they were like, hey, let's start up this universe. And a TV show. And a TV show and all sorts. And maybe another video, maybe a video game or a comic book series, I think, was going to be happening. Who knows? Yeah. Anyway, they did one movie and apparently it wasn't very good. I didn't see it. I also, also didn't see it. Also, it was a sequel to the books, sort of, or set after the books. Is that correct? We'll never know. We won't no, know. No one watched it. This and one, everybody involved was killed that's after right. they made it. They're like, hey, why don't we make Idris Elba the new James Bond? You can't because he was killed. <laughs> he was killed in real life after making the movie. Why is there no season three of True Detective? Because they killed Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> He's dead now. So this one I didn't know was going to be a shared universe. And it's fascinating to me. The King Arthur universe now, I'm not talking about the 2004-something Clive Owen King Arthur movie. The one we all remember. The one we all remember. I'm talking about King Arthur Legend of the Sword, the Guy Ritchie movie. Uh, Guy Ritchie was apparently signed on to direct 
six movies about King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Bloody Table. Bloody hell. <laughs> Here's the thing. There's two interesting characters in the King Arthur mythos. King Arthur, Merlin. I thought you were going to say, and the sword. Oh, yeah. Can the sword sing? Merlin and the sword. <laughs> then the sword can sing. Oh, the singy sword, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, well, that's it. How, so how many spin... Like, what's... What's, what's I've left? seen First Night. Why? Why? How yeah, do you right? improve on that? That's exactly right, yeah. yes. That, okay, here's what we got. Here's how it was going to go. The movies would have been a Game of Thrones slash Harry Potter vibe. Yeah. Terrific. And would have followed the whole round table gang as they chased... The uh, round uh, table <laughs> gang. After the uh, the elusive Holy Grail. Wow. That's not the official synopsis, but that that is that was the general idea. Six movies. Bloody hell. I hope he still gets paid for that. <laughs> <laughs> What's interesting about Lancelot? He's rugged. He's but com- he's not that rugged, is he? He's cool. Is he? He's, he was Owen Griffith in 2004 or whatever. Oh, okay, right. Okay, that that's interesting? not bad. That's not bad, all right. That being said, I've seen King Arthur. I watched it on a plane. It's all right. Oh, cool, all right. Yeah. Anyway, before we wrap this up, I thought, hey, you want to hear about some upcoming universes? Oh, just universes. not more than one. People are going all in here, despite the fact that... The failure rate on this is like 98%. Correct. Mm, and right. one of the two that works, the Kong Godzilla universe, doesn't seem like they did it on purpose. Absolutely not. Maybe that's the key. Yeah, maybe it is. I think the key is make a couple of good movies. Bloody good luck. Hollywood, <laughs> am I right? Okay, so we've got the Call of Duty universe. Mm, the Call of duty universe. Yeah. Great. That sounds terrible. First of all... Also, isn't it just war movies? Yeah, it's a shared universe and it's a video game movie. Wow. Good yep. luck. Next up, we've got the Mask Universe. Mobile Armored Strike, Strike Command. Command with a K. Wait a second. Yeah. Why? I have no answers. Well, so that's not a, a shit. It's not a shared universe. It's just Mask. Well, I guess it's the, a toy line from the 80s that was a cartoon. It's shared, baby. Next, we've tr- got. Truck that turned into a tank. Anyway. That's pretty exciting. That's pretty good. Next up, we've got. This one I think could definitely work. Ah, the Miller World universe. It's all happening on Netflix. Okay, Some so... Some of them are still owned by others, but... So, Kick-Ass. You've got... Superior. You've got Superior. You've got... I think they're doing... Uh, Nemesis. Nem- they're doing Nemesis. They're doing a bunch of different ones. Okay. Uh, Jupiter Ascending. Not I'm Jupiter not sure Ascending. how they could all... Jupiter's Legacy. I'm not sure how they could link them all together. Not necessarily. They'll find yeah. a way. All right. Yeah. They're not so different that they couldn't be in the same universe. That is true. You're right. Yeah. You're right. So, I think that one's got a fair shot. Next up, uh, we've got the John Wick universe, which I think holds true to the idea that you accidentally make a couple of good ones. Not accidentally. <laughs> those movies are intentionally Well made. Good. Yeah, they're intentionally well made. And they're doing a TV series and a, and a third one. So it's not just they're making another one. They're doing a TV series. So they're expanding okay, right. the entire, the entire Is it based world. around the hotel? I believe so. All elements of it is, yeah. Cool. And Keanu Reeves may even show up. Ooh. There you go. And the last one is the Valiant universe. I'm on board with that. Okay. It's Sony. Ah, oh. <laughs> maybe they've learned some lessons, you know? But they're currently not learning a lesson. They're, 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 right now, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're not learning a lesson with Venom. And they should have learned it from The Amazing Spider-Man, yes. right, which was years ago. Mm. Oh, no, they're not learning a lesson, are they, right now? No, unless it's good. Unless it, but it won't be good. You never know. It might be good. Hey, if you're watching this... What's your bloody least favourite shared universe or best shared universe or what's one coming up that you think is either going to be good or bad? I think questions need to be more specific th- than that. What do you think about the universe generally? Yeah, you a fan? The universe in which we live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. Uh, no, don't, get... lead, don't lead the witness, please. Oh. Let them make their own decision. Do you think the universe is good, bad, or indifferent? It's whatever you think. Look, we also have a podcast called The Weekly Planet. You can check it out below. It's like this, but it's longer and there's less pictures because it's a podcast. If you're on the bloody morning commute on Monday morning, you want some movie, TV, comic book situations in your ears <laughs> some situations that's a, that's a might be a place if you to want to turn. put yourself in a movie tv show comic book pickle we listen got one to the weekly you. planet that's it have a good time though grab that gem you guys we will see you next week oh there's videos every sunday tuesday and thursday goodbye bye <laughs>